All right, welcome back. Let's see if we can make it through this one without my dog <laughs> interrupting. Um, so let's sketch some inequalities. So we're gonna kind of relate some of our previous sections with this current section. So these are actually two circles, um, right? This is a circle with a center of one, three, right? X, the center, one minus one, is basically whatever you plug in to get zero tells you the center. One minus one would be zero, right? Three minus three would be zero. Uh, one, three. And then what's basically saying it's in between two circles. So the smaller circle has a radius of two, right? So it's bigger than this circle with radius two, but it's smaller than this circle with radius three, right? Because three squared would be nine. So let's kind of sketch those two circles and see what it looks like. You have graph paper this can be a little bit easier but one three is my center you know I mean? I'm gonna move this down a little to have a little bit more space cool um, and so a radius of two let's do orange for this one why not um, so I just kind of mark two one two one two this is just helping me sketch it so if I go two out in each direction right that's gonna be that circle And then because it doesn't have the or equal, I'm gonna draw a dashed line because it can't equal this circle. Right, it doesn't have to be, okay, that's a really terrible circle, but you get the idea. So I'm using a dashed line because there's no or equal because it can't equal this circle. Uh, let's do green for this one. So now I'm gonna go out three, which would basically be one more. And then because of the or equal, we'll do a solid line. So basically I'm sketching the two outside regions and then it's just telling us it's in between. So the shaded region would just be anything in between. And hopefully yours looks more circular than mine. But it should be like a little, should be like a washer. Right, nice, it's that shape. Circle with a hole in the middle. So that's what the inequality looks like. Um, if you're not really sure what I was graphing, right, the orange one just to, a fresher was four equals this, right? That's a circle. And then the green one was this circle, right? And we're just saying it's the area in between. So let's check out semicircles. We've probably heard of a semicircle, right? It's just half of a circle. Um, so semicircles essentially happen when we solve for X or Y. Right, so if I solve for y, I would subtract x squared, subtract x squared, and take a square root, and you get two solutions. You get the plus or minus. And then same idea for x, right? We'll get two different solutions. So there's really four different semicircles. So let's check them all out. I'm going to draw four different graphs just so we can keep track of them. They're all essentially the same. They're just going to be... A different orientation. So let's start with the y, um, the first one, positive y. y equals r squared, square root of r squared minus x squared. Sorry, y, not y squared. So essentially this is always positive, right? So this is when y is positive. So it'll be the semicircle where y is positive. Right, and the radius is r, so this would be zero comma r. X can be negative, because x squared, right, we can plug in positives or negatives, but right, the range of a square root is always positive, so we're only looking at when y is positive. Um, so the next one would be just the reverse. So now y is negative, so it's gonna, or if you remember reflections from algebra, it's the reflection of this one. So this is our negative y values. So it's the same circle upside down, right? So it goes to negative r. Similar concept for the x's. So the first one will give us the positive x's, right? If 
I have x is r square, square root of r squared minus y squared, x is always positive here. So x positive would be the right side. It'll go out to r comma 0. So basically, the y semicircles are up and down. The x circles are left and right. Let's do and then, Oops, I made a typo here. This should be x. I'll fix that. So x equals negative square root r squared minus y squared. So this is when x is negative. And so x is always negative on the left side. So that'll be this side of the circle. So these are just four different semicircles we might make. So positive y is upper, right? Negative y is lower. Positive x is the right side and negative x is the left side. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, someone might like semicircles um, because they make function they make functions. At least the y semicircles are functions because they pass that vertical line test. Whereas regular circles don't pass the function test, right? Because they wouldn't pass that vertical line test. But the two y's would be functions. So I'll see you in the next video.